Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Arb Studios Comics, and this is the show where I talk about the comic books I've read, Kickstarters I've backed, and other things like that. So, um, this is a different episode, though. Uh, as you know, I just did FanX Salt Lake Comic Con last week, and uh, FanX 2022 was awesome. It was great. Um, I only had about nine books left by the end of the show, so I have to do a reorder soon with, through Kablam, but... Right now there's a little hang up with that. Uh, Kablam is in Florida, and as you know, Florida and uh, that eastern gulf is going through uh, Hurricane Ian right now. So my reordering, re-inventory is going to take a little bit of time and uh, to restock and all that fun stuff. So that's where I'm at right now. But yeah, FanX was great. Uh, I was pretty close to selling out on all my comics. I, had a, I brought a tote full of comic books. And left with, came home with nine ba left, and uh, not too bad. And even, uh, I made mean, even a couple sales after the con at work. Some co workers wanted to see my book that didn't make it out to the con, so there's that. So, yeah, it was great. Fan X Comic Con, I love going to it, but um, it looks like uh, this might be the last year I table at it for a good while. Um, I'm looking into going to Denver Comic Con for uh, 2023, so we're gonna see how that goes. See if I can get some, uh, I don't know, some just some better motivation, better turnout, and uh, make some new readers, you know, new experiences too, because keep going to the same con every year. You're gonna be in the same place every year. That's what I figure anyway. Go, so I'm, fi I'm gonna start going to other cons and see where I can go from there. So, this episode though, um, I don't really have any show notes because as you know, Comic-Cons take a lot out of you and uh, as soon as Comic-Con was over I had to go right into my full-time job. So I, I did some work and uh, it really took a lot out of me and uh, I never got around to making notes. So, sorry, no Kickstarters in this episode. But, what I will get into is, uh, so a little about myself, here we go, um, yeah, sorry, skipping over a lot of stuff. So, as you know, a little about me, um, I make Peter Pan the Vampire comic books that are printed through Kablam and sold on IndiePlanet.com, and if... Let's see, I am the I am the writer, the creator, the letterer, the colorist, every single aspect of uh, Peter Pan the Vampire is done by me. Except for the exception of uh, maybe a page here and there that I have my daughters draw, like flashbacks. And I'm act I actually have a daughter working on a issue of her own called uh, The Mermaids of Neverland, which will tie into it. Hopefully that's coming along. We're seeing how we'll see how that goes. So I currently have three issues: issues one, two, and three in color, and I have three issues uh, one, two, and three in black and white, grayscale color. And uh, I also have issues one, two, and three on digital, which are completely and absolutely free. Every single time you go on AndyPlanet.com and search for Peter Pan the Vampire, you will find three issues by me for free to download to your phone. All that fun stuff. Um, I did want to mention, if you read any of my comic books uh, digitally, or if you picked them up at the Comic-Con Fan X, I would love to hear from you, um, so please post those online, or message them to me if that you liked it, whatever, and uh, I, will, I will read your comments, or share your links, your reviews, whatever, um, to all of social media, that's how I am. So, yeah, if you do a review on social media, use the hashtag at rent, or hashtag rent arb, and uh, I, hopefully I will see it. Or just message it, tag me in it, at rent arb, or at Gary Brantner, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, because I, I make these books all the time, and I would, I would love to hear how other people are thinking about it, and... Uh, I would love to pick me up, the motivation it gives me, and uh, yeah, it makes me really happy. So check out Peter Pan the Vampire comics. Um, yeah, if you weren't able to go to the Fanex and see me, uh, do. 
download those comics and let me know what you think. And here's a print. I gave these prints to a postcard of uh, Peter Pan crying about Tinkerbell drinking the poison and dying. I gave these postcards to every cosplayer I saw that was dressed as a character, Peter Pan, Hook, or Tinkerbell. Even Wendy's. There was a Wendy here and there, I think. And, uh, yeah. Um, I even gave a print of Maui to a Maui. Because, you know, Maui's one of my characters from my comics. So, yep. Um, so, yeah, check out Kablam. They are awesome. Uh, they are very cool to print through. And, of course, they have their site Indie Planet that you can check, that you could post your comics on and print them and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to tell you for right now about FanX and uh, things going on. But I did have a couple comics in my mailbox to show you. So, da 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 Oh, that is totally upside down. Da -da -da -da. Mailbox, mailbox, what's in Renard's mailbox? So I did want to show you that I got a book called Chances are that I backed on the Kickstarters, and uh, this is about a gambler, and he gets roped into this truth or dare kind of thing where um, he's, it's, it almost seems to me like he has got the power of luck, like Domino or Longshot, and that he it gets put in these life and death situations, and they bet on who, out of the, out of the handful of people they think are going to die or whatever. They bet on who's going to die first, who's going to survive, stuff like that. So that's really cool. Um, I thought it was interesting and I uh, thought I'd back it and check it out. Another book I backed and got in the mail is Make Believe. This is from pra pra Plastic Sword Press. Uh, they did uh, the Super... No, Super... Super Scouts comic and uh, I think Crude Knight. There's a couple other comics I backed from them. I'm blanking on them right now off the top of my head, but yeah. Uh, they do good work, good art styles, good good writing, and so I thought I'd back this one. I think uh, Kickstarter for issue 2 is on right now, so check it out. I need to read that so I can review it for the Kickstarter. Really cool. Um, I'm already a backer, though, because I'm sure I'll like it because I liked uh, everything else from pra Plastic Sword Press. Here's another one, uh, Smoke Weed, See the Future, and that has got a really cool cover on it. And uh, this is in the Destiny New York uh, universe. They have a Kickstarter as well going soon, so check that one out. I love that spot finish on that. Makes it stand out. And I got some cool postcards and whatnot from that. And also have... Destiny New York Volume 5. So yeah, Volume 6 is on Kickstarter right now. This is one of my most favorite uh, series to read that I keep getting from Kickstarter. So um, yeah, it, back it. Get all six volumes. You will love it. It's good stuff. Uh, there is a lot of extra tie-ins and stuff. Uh, Destiny New York uh, short stories. And uh, Gangster Ass Barista is on there so cool stuff check it out now I'm going to show you a bunch of cool stuff that I found on the uh, at the Comic Con oh nope these are stuff so after one of the, after the middle day of the con I stopped in at my comic shop and I picked up issue 12 of Sweet Paprika and I picked up issue 7 8 and nine of uh, Spider-Man's J.R. Jr. drawn, so you know that's the draw for me. Is I'm a huge fan of the J.R. Juniors, so picked up those from my local comic book shop, Gamers Asylum in Ogden, Utah. That's how you find them on Twitter, Gamers Asylum Utah. If you're in Utah, stop by, pick up some comics, and I'm still waiting for them to make uh, Gamers Asylum T-shirts because you know. I'm a t-shirt fan. Oh yeah, check out this. I got Fanex Comic-Con shirt at this year. It's got silhouettes of the three spiders from the Spider Spider-Man movie, different spider verses. And I picked up uh, this comic, White Lily. That'll be a cool one to put in the read pile. This is from Fanex. 
And I picked, I ran into a buddy of mine, um, Tim Oddland. And Tim Oddland, he signed all these books for me. I've got issues one, three, four, okay, here's two. One, two, three, and four of uh, Beware the Eye of Odin. Beware the Eye of Odin. One, two, and three that I picked up from Tim, Tim Odland, and uh, these are really cool. He's a local Utah artist, and you got to support your uh, favorite local Utah artist. Here's an old book that I got from Tim last time I met him, The Curse of the Raven. It's a it's a zombie apocalypse in an old western. So that was a really cool one. Glad glad I still have that. Oh yeah, and I got me a Fan X sticker. I got me a Fanex pin also that you probably saw me post when I went to church on Sunday following the Comic Con. And I found a multiple man trading card. Uh, I just went to KidCon and they were had all these cards, X-Men cards and Pokemon cards. They were punching holes in them to make buttons for the kids and I'm like, oh my gosh, please can I have this card? And so they let me have it. Here is one called The Haunting Refrain. Um, Let's see, do I have a card in here from the artist? The Hunting for Refrain from Committed Comics. Okay, yeah, I did uh, find Committed Comics on the Twitters after that. And so, yeah, I found Committed Comics at Comic-Con, bought this book from them. That was really cool. And I also picked up Crow and the Eternal Night. This is a big book. It's not your comic sta standard comic size. Um, and all that. But this is from Pixel Gremlin. I picked up from uh, Colleen Palmer, P Pixel Gremlin at uh, Fan X. And there is currently a Kickstarter running for an anthology that uh, Colleen pa Palmer is in, and I backed it immediately. It, it sounded interesting, and so uh, check that one out. I hope I will have uh, Kickstarter news for you next week. And uh, We'll go from there, and I'll let you know all about that book. And then I also picked up, I found a stand that was selling trades for $5 each. And as I was going through them, uh, he said, or uh, you could get four for $20. And then as I was going through them again, he came by and says, or you can get uh, 10 for $40. And then I said, well, what if I picked out 15 and he says ah, I'll let you have them for $50 and so I pull out $60 and he says oh, I don't have any change and so he just gave him 15 comic books for 40 bucks or 15 trades for 40 bucks not a bad deal uh, yeah I got I got the new mutants demon bear which you know if you watch the new mutants movie that's demon bear pretty cool stuff got a lot of X here X-Men deadly Genesis that one's cool. And I got X-Men Phoenix in Darkness. X-Men Black with a J. Scott Campbell co cover of Emma Frost. That's cool. Astonishing X-Men here. Which I think Multiple Man might be in here somewhere. So I can't wait to read that one. All new X-Men. Oh yeah, I love my all new X-Men's. They were the X-Men that were uh, pulled out of the past by the Beast in order to guilt Cyclops, and then they wouldn't, just couldn't send him back, so who knows what's going on. Got some X-Force here. I heard there might be a rumor that uh, Multiple Man showed up in that one as well. And I've got some Black Widow number three, and Black Widow... not numbered. So Web of Black Widow and Black Widow. So there's some cool some Black Widow stuff. A Dawn of X. That one, you know, and then I've got uh, Oblivion Song 1 and 2 from Robert Kirkman in the image, Skybound. And I found Saga number 9. So I'm, I'm not sure where I'm at in my Saga checklist, but I better make sure I don't buy 9 twice like I did with uh, Paper Girl 6. So that's the end of my show for today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I, I will get those Kickstarter notes 
done and I will uh, get start getting back into the routine of reading reviews and letting you know about what ki is on Kickstarter that I'm back in and uh, yeah fun stuff like that so sorry I don't have that for you this week with FanX and uh, going back to work and you know being jet lagged from FanX and uh, you know how it is after a con and all sorts of fun stuff like that so anyway enough excuses I got to get back to work uh, and all that. Um, I'm working on the uh, show notes, Kickstarter stuff, and hopefully I will have a good episode for you next week. So, till then, see ya.